Scott Moonville. Question. Do you have the courage to try something new? My story begins after a 14-hour flight, 7,000 miles away from Louisiana, to the most popular city on the planet, Tokyo, Japan. A population of over 38 million people. It's an amazing, amazing place. My family and I relocated there on a new job assignment. After the first week, I really, I slept like a baby. I woke up at 3 a.m. every morning crying. <laughs> <laughs> to say it was intimidating is an understatement. Different place, different culture, different language. It was quite a challenge for my family and I. But my daughter and I decided to create a challenge based on a question that we had both heard earlier in the year. And that question was, when was the last time you did something for the first time? We created a first time experience challenge. And these were the rules. You had to basically have a first time experience once a week. That experience could be meeting a new person, going a new place, experiencing a new thing. You could use any and all of your senses. And you had to journal it and report back at family meeting at the end of the week because we were having family meetings while we were away abroad. It was a fantastic experience, trust me. So through this experience, these first time experiences, we met a number of wonderful people. On the slide behind me, you see there a kimono ceremony. One of my friends asked his mom to come over and teach us how to wear kimonos, how to put them on and how to wear them, and we even had a tea ceremony with them. It was fantastic. The other picture you see there was Chinese New Year, where friends invited us over for Chinese New Year's dinner. Had wonderful food, many things I had never tried before, but first time experience. The other photo is with friends in Berlin, Germany, another place I had never been, but they came, took me, showed me around, just a wonderful first time experience. And that final picture is an interesting one. That's on the streets of Shanghai, China. I was walking to work, and a group of school-aged children saw me and started yelling, Obama, Obama! <laughs> I was flattered, <laughs> to say the least. Very much so. And they wanted to take a picture with me. So I, I said, of course, I'd be happy to take a picture with you. I still don't know to this day if they thought they really met Obama or not. But so be it, I had a wonderful first time experience with those students. They touched my hair. They touched my skin. It was something that was a first time experience for them and was wonderful. We experienced fabulous places. Here you see the Great Wall of China. We had a chance to walk. I did not walk the entire Great Wall. It's, a, it's, a, it's quite a walk, to say the least. Experienced again Bali, Indonesia. That's a cliff in Bali, Indonesia. Taj Mahal, beautiful location. And then I climbed Mount Fuji. Now, Mount Fuji is one of the most popular attractions in Japan. It's a climbable mountain. It actually consists of three volcanoes. They're active volcanoes as well, but it hasn't uh, erupted since the 1700s. So my friends and I in Asia decided to climb Mount Fuji, but there was one issue. Well, there were three issues, actually. One, they wanted to climb it. You can only climb it two months out of the year. We, climbed, we chose July, of course, chose a Friday. The challenge was it was Friday the 13th. Now, they aren't superstitious, but I was. <laughs> the other issue was a typhoon was coming. Yes, in the Pacific, they have typhoons here. In, on the Atlantic side of the continent we have, uh, of the world, we have hurricanes, of course. Now, in Japan also, there are earthquakes that occur every day. They have about 5,000 a year. Now, I'm used to hurricanes being from the south, but earthquakes are a whole nother thing. So they wanted to climb this mountain Friday the 13th with a typhoon coming, <laughs> with a person of African-American descent. <laughs> First time experience. Needless to say, eight hours up, four hours down, 
We made it, survived it, wonderful first time experience. Now I lost two toenails that grew back, but nonetheless, it was fantastic for me. We experienced fantastic things. The top picture you see, a lion walk. I walked with three lions. Uh, the oldest was 11 months old. Her name was Sarah. Now, my astrological sign is Leo, and as such, I felt a bond with those lions, and they did not attack me, and I'm here today because of that. <laughs> On the right is a picture of me in uh, Malaysia, and I was there with my wife and family. Uh, the little guy in the back is a Malaysian monkey. Now, I took that picture before he snatched the water bottle from my wife. I would not have been able to take that picture before, <laughs> other than that. Then you see again food, fun, and fellowship. And on that other picture, you see a toilet. Now, why a toilet, you may ask? Well, when we were in Japan the first week, we were out uh, visiting schools with our daughter. At one of the schools, the, the principal asked my daughter, what's your favorite thing about Japan? My daughter quickly and without hesitation said, the toilets. I'm like, we were embarrassed. We were like, you're interviewing for this school. You're eight years old. You got to, you know, come up with something. But no, she said the toilets. You know why? Because that toilet was a smart toilet. It had buttons. It would warm you. It would squirt you. It would massage you. I even thought about becoming a toilet salesman after experiencing those toilets in Japan. They were fantastic. Real talk, smart toilets. You can innovate anything is what I found out. You can innovate anything. What other lessons did we learn from first-time experiences? Well, we learned to face our fears. We learned to face our fears. Found out that on the other side of fear are some fantastic, fulfilling experiences. We also learned to find our fantasies, explore, do things you've never done before. It was amazing for us. It fueled fun. We had some wonderful, wonderful experiences just through that challenge. You know what else happened? Well, it caused us to accelerate our knowledge. It really helped us learn more. It, it, we explored those curious areas that we may not have done if we hadn't had the challenge. It facilitated a deeper understanding of different cultures. It also fulfilled some of our lifelong dreams, living abroad and going places. We've lived on a number of continents. We traveled to Africa, Asia, experienced safaris and beyond. And probably, most importantly, it helped us with our purpose. We found that maybe we were there abroad, different person, different culture, different things, to help others learn more about us, and that we are not to be feared, we are to be embraced. Most importantly, I think, first-time experiences may be able to help us cure some of the world's greatest ills, some of the isms of the world, racism. Instead of judging somebody, maybe you can use a first-time experience to go and meet someone to try to understand them if they're different from you. Maybe it could help us cure sexism. Instead of talking down about the opposite sex, maybe you can go and have a conversation with them and understand why they do what they do and why we do what we do, and so on and so on. Classism, someone who may be of a different economic structure, first-time experience. Get to know them, understand them, see what helps them be who they are. Ageism, spend time with our seniors. They have given their lives for us, and we're here because we stand on the shoulders of those who came before us. I was taught by giants. I was loved by giants. And even to this day, I'm still being loved by my ancestors through and through. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Have a first-time experience today. Thank you.